Hello friends, today we are going to work through how to rewrite PLR using Jarvis. Uh, you'll need two things for this. One is some PLR that you want to rewrite and number two is Jarvis. Uh, go to sadiesmiley.com forward slash Jarvis to get a free trial of the AI copywriter that I use and to also get 10,000 free credits. We're going to start by going to plrforblogs.com and ordering some PLR. There is some free PLR on the site and there's also a list of free PLR offers. If you click right here, goes to the email list, I have a spreadsheet, all kinds of fun stuff. So if you don't have PLR yet, this is where you're gonna start. If you already have PLR, just grab one of the articles you wanna rewrite and then you can kind of work alongside me as we go. All right, so the article I chose is how to easily de-stress every day. And this is what it looks like whenever you purchase it. I'm going to copy and paste it into Jarvis. Now, you can do this one of two ways. You can do the long form assistant where you do pretty much everything in that one template, but that's only available for pro. So I'm going to show you paragraph by paragraph how we're going to do it otherwise. All right, so once you copy and paste this into your dashboard, let's see, it's 1,300 words already. So I don't really need to add a lot of length to this. I need to reword it because it's PLR. So again, if you have Pro, use the long form assistant. It's going to save you a ton of time, but I know that not everyone needs Pro. Um, well, they probably do, but I know not everyone's ready to buy Pro right this second. So we're going to start with a blog post intro paragraph template. You're gonna put in your blog post title, which can obviously be changed. This is just to tell Jarvis what we are writing about. And then talk to your audience. Uh, my audience is almost always moms. And then choose your tone of voice. You can do engaging, empowering, funny, witty. And then down here at the bottom on outputs. If you have pro, you can go ahead and keep it at five because I like to use five because you get a lot of options. If you don't have pro, go ahead and move that down to one, two, or three because your credits are actually taken every time you get an output. So if you do three outputs here, all of those count against the credits that you have. But again, that's another reason to upgrade to pro because you don't have to use all of your credits um, if you're being picky. <laughs> so we're not talking about the holidays, Jarvis, so I'm not gonna pick that. All right. That's our intro that Jarvis wrote. It's not easy being a mom these days between the never ending laundry, grocery shopping, cooking, and taking care of your kids. There are so many tasks on your to do list that it can be hard to find time for yourself, but you don't have to worry because we're here with some great tips that will help you de-stress every day. Now that's the intro that Jarvis came up with. If you like the intro that the PLR came with, um, which I don't know, most PLR doesn't come with the best intros. It's really just a starter. Um, most of the PLR that you'll buy is going to be 200, 300, 400, 500 words. If you go to my site, plrforblogs.com, everything there is at least a thousand words. So that's a really good place to start if you're just getting in to using PLR. All right, so we're going to find content improver and the reason this isn't marked in my favorites is because I use this feature inside the long form editor. You're gonna paste your paragraph in and then choose your tone of voice. And then Jarvis is going to give you a few options of how it would be rewritten. These are really good, awesome. Okay, I'm going to take this out and put this in. It's kind of a big paragraph, so I'm gonna read through it and then, you know, fix it up. When you're working on your post, you wanna make sure you have your keywords in mind, uh, so you're using those as your subheadings. 
You can also use an SEO plugin uh, like Yoast. You can use Squirrely. That's what I use. And that's going to help you stay on track as you're working through this post. Sometimes when you purchase PLR, you don't have the same vision in your head that the person who wrote the PLR has. So it's easier for me to make sure that I'm in control of the subheadings. Uh, and then I will use Jarvis to rewrite everything. All right, this next paragraph we're going to, uh, it's because I copied and pasted more than one at once. All right. Again, another reason to get pro is for the long form editor. I haven't had to do it like this in a while because I have pro, but copying and pasting every paragraph over is a really good way for you to get familiar with the content. Sometimes we will just throw everything in the long form editor, let Jarvis work its magic, and then we aren't really using our voice as much as we should. So whenever you're doing it paragraph by paragraph, it's going to be easier for you to throw in a sentence or two that you wrote yourself. These probably aren't the headings I'm going to keep. Uh, this is just an example for this video, um, but I really like the outputs that I'm getting here. I like to work in batches, so what I do is I go through and I edit all of it, and then I'll go back in and add my own voice. Uh, you might enjoy writing your own stuff as you go, and that's okay too. You're going to have to come up with your own flow with Jarvis, just like I did. I love that this article mentions deep breathing for stress relief uh, because it really is important. <laughs> Whenever I took my daughter to the hospital, she was sick and they said it was, you know, anxiety and all this stuff, but they had a GI deep breathing specialist come in and it was really cool to see them teach her how to do deep breathing that actually worked to reduce her physical pain. Um, so I made sure I included that in this article and I am gonna reword it, but I'm not gonna take that out. Sometimes there's stuff that you wanna take out, move around, um, but this is really important. That did cut some of my word count. I'm but I'm still up to 1400, so I'm not gonna complain here. And this one I might turn into bullet points on how to breathe. Bull bullet points are always good to include. Bullet points, tables, that kind of stuff. Anything that can break up all of this text. People's attention spans are so short. You probably notice yours getting shorter and wondering why videos are taking so long uh, and then text is even longer. I like reading blog posts myself, but I know a lot of people do not. So you have to make sure you're breaking it up and keeping it interesting for your readers. Another template that you can use besides the content improver is the explain it to a child. I'm going to show you how it works and it is a little bit different than content improver. Uh, a lot of times it'll chop your output in half because it's simplifying what you do, you what you're saying. You don't want fluff. So if you use the explain it to a child feature, you're going to get everything in a very simple way and there isn't going to be any fluff. So you can choose your output grade level. I usually stick with five and then click generate and we will see what Jarvis comes up with. Uh, the thing about explain it to a child is it doesn't match the tone of voice uh, so I like to use Content Improver because it'll keep the same voice throughout. But look at how long this is, and then this is our output. And this is actually good, so I'm going to keep it. But again, you want to watch your word count. I'm still at 1588, so we haven't technically lost anything, which is good. I'm going to go back over to Content Improver because... I really enjoy that better. Um, but then I'm going to show you also real quick how to do a conclusion with Jarvis. So I'm almost finished with this and my title is going to go in there. And then I just take my subheadings and put a few of them in there. Not all of them because then it kind of gets like 
to be a jumbled mess because Jarvis is trying to shove everything into a couple sentences. So we're just going to do a few of those points. You don't want to use a subheading called conclusion or wrapping it up. I've seen a lot of people do that. I've leaned on it a few times myself uh, whenever I'll say, you know, final words. But that's not going to help your blog post. It's not going to help your SEO at all. So make sure that you're using a good subheading with your keywords throughout your post, including in the conclusion. Now that we have the intro, the conclusion, and have rewritten all of the PLR, we're at 1,734 words, and that's before I add anything at all in my own words. That's everything Jarvis did, and this took, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes with me creating the video. Uh, if you go to preview in your blog post, you don't have to copy and paste line by line. You could do more than one block because you're going to be pulling from the front of your blog, and then it's not going to have those weird uh, codes that it did whenever I pulled it earlier. Uh, you're going to add pictures, you're going to create pin images, you're going to link to your other posts, all of that good stuff. Uh, but really, this took such little time. I would say the Jarvis cuts my writing time at least in half. After you do this, make sure that you like how everything looks. And then what I do before I add pictures is I copy everything and then I head over to copyscape.com. This isn't free. It does cost a few cents per search, but it's super worth it in my opinion. No results found. So there's nothing else on the web like this, yet I'm using an article that tons of other people have purchased. And, and it's, it's literally unique because Jarvis rewrote everything. So if you've not tried your free trial of Jarvis yet, please do. Let me know how it works. Leave a comment below with some blog posts that Jarvis has helped you write. Um, if you have questions about Jarvis, let me know and I will make some more videos for you. Good luck and happy writing.